Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday. And I, I did not sleep very well last night. So I ended up sleeping down here last night. I don't do that very often because um, I sleep a lot better in my bed in the chateau. But I was down here uh, to see a couple friends and stayed way too late and had to dodge curfew. Uh, and so obviously just stayed here because we've exchanged a lockdown for a curfew where we're no longer uh, expected to be in all the time. We have kind of like freedom to do whatever during the day. But then we have to be home by 8 p.m., which is really early. And so I just came back here and, uh, and slept here. I didn't sleep very well. And my whole day has been thrown off. I was going to go for a run, get coffee, cook something, and then open some Christmas presents. We're going to do two Christmas present openings because I have some boxes here that people have sent, whether or not they intended them to be Christmas presents, and uh, some back at my place uh, so we can do that twice. But uh, let's go get coffee. I need the things need to start off. Things need to start off. One of the benefits of uh, the apartment, the second benefit, not only can I have an emergency bed to sleep in when I'm about to break curfew, which is really helpful, but it means that I've got a kitchen, which you've seen. And one of the things that I've been doing over the last few weeks in trying to take a break from making videos every day has been cooking a lot more and cooking meals for these guys because they're working themselves to death and they're not eating enough. And uh, you know, if I've got a hella fresh box sitting around, might as well make them a meal. So I have some uh, food back at my place. I'm gonna go cook, bring them lunch, um, and then we can open some Christmas presents. You know, see what other updates pop out along the way. Lunch is served. What are you doing for Christmas, Kenny? You... Merry Christmas. Parmesan for seasoning. And I brought a hot sauce. Huh? The uh, habanero sauce lord. Yeah, take a bite of that as well. Oh yeah, there you go. Just chomp down on that thing. Thank you, uh, Jay. This is really unexpected at least. I thought it was over. Yeah, no, the good times can still roll. <laughs> It's from Janelle? Oh, that's nice. Pop out, as the French would say. Not bad. Okay, so uh, we got like, there's a lot going on here. These are from, I would just, this is the mystery present. I wonder what on earth this could be. <laughs> it's present time. So uh, 
I'm wearing the shirt that I'm wearing right now was a present. The sauce that you just saw, the hot sauce that we had earlier, was a present. Thank you to everybody who just who's pitched in over the last year, whether or not it was Christmas, whether or not you intended for whatever you sent me to be a Christmas present. Thank you for making uh, a Christmas more special than it otherwise would have been. Much appreciated. I don't have uh, my knife with me, so hopefully all of this is easy open. Wait, wait. Let's get started. I have stuff back, like presents from my family back at uh, the Chateau. Maybe we'll do two uh, unboxing videos because why not? You know, might as well have all of the uh, unboxing possible. This is from M. McDonald. Do not bend, it says, please. Oh, hey, I know it's, I, I saw, I saw Pika something. <laughs> May the joy of the season be yours. Uh, Megan, thank you. This, she, Megan knows that I want to go to Marseille for nothing other than Space Invaders. Ooh, decal, whoa, Ed, these are decals. 60 vinyl decals. Megan, thank you. I might have to put one of these on the bike. That's one of the gifts that I got back. Thanks everybody who pitched in for the bike. I'll show you at the end. What could this be? Is it chopsticks? Oh. No worries, just candy down. This set of very nicely wrapped presents is from Joe and Lauren. And it is not chopsticks, it is in fact a hammer. I feel like I should just leave some of this Christmas wrapping on for good memories. And the reason that they sent this, I'm guessing, they could say in the comments below, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's because they watched me suffer through building a whole set of shelves without a hammer. This is gonna, this, this would have been a game changer. It'll be a game changer in the future, I'm sure. Joe and Lauren, I'm gonna, Joe, I'm gonna keep going with yours. I'm also gonna keep, I'm gonna push some of this stuff over here and then we'll give a little bit less sliding action. Ooh! A 64 gig micro SD card, that is great. I always need more memory. I always need one of these. <gasps> oh, I've wanted one of these for a long time. This is, this does feel like Christmas all of a sudden. I've wanted a Leatherman for so long. Let's open this right now because it can help me open up another, I'm sure at least one box. If only I had a Leatherman to help me open up the Leatherman. Uh, 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 didn't need it. Whoa! Fun story. I uh, actually want to tell you that story. I have a whole like. I will. Thank you. Oh my gosh! I've wanted a Leatherman forever. How did you know? How did you know that I wanted one of these? Thank you so much. This giant box is going to be from James and Co. Which is going to be. I don't know what's gonna be in here. Shoes, maybe? Or, oh yeah, shoes. If you've seen me wearing Adidas lately, it's because, and actually I'm really, these are the pair of shoes that I would have hoped, had I been hoping actively. Look at how French they look. Slash American, you know, red, white, and blue. Slash lots of other countries, but you know, my two countries. Thick. New kicks. Thank you very much. This one might be from them too, actually, I don't know. It doesn't say. Yep, some more Adidas gear. This is a, a YouTube TV football club? What is this? Wait, the Los Angeles team is sponsored by YouTube TV? I had no idea. I've got the YouTube connection, at least. Oh, this one's already like, kind of torn. Whoa. Belgians, fine. Oh, is this chocolate? <laughs> It is gonna be chocolate. Two J. I was so sorry to see. What? Oh wait. I was so happy. I was so happy to see you. Uh, I think hit your fifty K. Thank you, Anne. Anne Demore. Thank you so much, Anne Demore. Kind of like Michael Mon, somebody who I love to overuse their name when uh, live streaming. Which I haven't done in a while. It's been a kind of a. It's been kind of a crazy couple of months with lockdown and everything. I've been trying to get some other work done, but also trying to rest. And um, these chocolates, look, I'm actually not gonna open these chocolates because I don't want them to get covered in other stuff. But look at that, isn't that nice? Some better nice chocolates. We'll just leave them nicely tied up for now. There's also an apple pie Kit Kat here from uh, Joe and Lauren. I have to, I'm gonna try it right now on camera because there's this, this, I'm gonna save those because I'm actually gonna share those, but I, I gotta try this on camera because this is gonna be an experience. I cannot guarantee that it'll be a good experience, but I kind of, I like Kit Kat. And I like apple pie, so how can how can it go wrong? It's like an apple Nutri bar with white chocolate and wafers. That's kind of how it. It's not bad. I thought it was gonna be nasty. It's not nasty. I also have some Santa Claus uh, marshmallows that I think I was supposed to take to the Peloton. 
So I'll do that tomorrow. They're gonna have eggnog at the Peloton tomorrow. So that's the perfect thing for that. From G. Davidson in Canada. Oh, I have a Leatherman to help me with this tape somewhere. You can see why I didn't want it to open the chocolate because I would have like somehow lost them. Voila. Ooh, it's got little scissors. Hold on, let's try that. <laughs> that is so cool. Hold on. Snip, snip. The knife would be better for this probably, but oh, it's still sharp enough to just kind of cut on its own. Snip. Knife will cut open chip bag. Oh, he's warning me not to use, oh, hold on. I bet you I know what's in here. Hold on, very gently, not accidentally cut open the chips. Because if they're the chips I think they are, I'm gonna have to make sure I share them with Pushan. I like sharing the things that I get. It's more, it's more fun that way. Uh, hold on, there we go, released. That's friggin' awesome. Oh, oh it is? Oh, these things. Are amazing the Packy Haunted Ghost Pepper Chips. So there's a brand of chip that uh, we'll, maybe we'll do a little one-off with here in France. That's surprisingly hot. But these hot mothers are from Canada. They are delicious. Um, I'm going to give an entire bag to Pushan for Christmas because uh, he loves these as much as I do, and it's only the right thing to do. Merry Christmas! Thank you so much. This is Gary. Whoa! There's a third bag in here. These are gonna burn my face off and I'm gonna enjoy every last minute of it. I don't know when I started liking hot stuff so much. I don't know how that became a thing, but it is a thing now. Aw, you guys are like making me get all emotional here. I'm kind of getting teary-eyed. This is, the, oh, we, what? Look at this little pop-out Christmas card. There we go, nice little pop-out Christmas card. Let's see if I can get that to sit there for a second. Oh, sit, sit up, there we go. Merry Christmas. Okay, it's a bit early, but honestly, well, don't worry, I waited until now. He made this card. This is really cool. So, and, and he said that the interior is actually a photo that he took. So this is Gary and Trudy and Liam, their cat right there, enjoying a coffee in the 14th. Let's see if we can get it to properly sit up. Fold in, oh, that helps, okay. Hold on, there, oh, there we go. Voila, Gary, Trudy, Liam, Merry Christmas. Thank you, look, it sits up properly now. Thank you guys, that's really, really, really nice. That's really nice. Thank you for taking and putting the effort in to get it, make sure it got here before Chris. Thanks to everybody who sent me something like Christmas alone, as you, as you, many of you know from experience, whether in the past or this year, uh, is not the best. Um, and I'm lucky to be able to see some friends right now because we're out of lockdown and uh, able to go have our socially distanced coffees. But um, this is really, really sweet. And I have a history. I'm, I'll make a video about it someday. I have a history with uh, Christmas and birthday presents. Uh, from childhood and so forth. It makes it a little bit of a mixed bag for me. It's not something that I usually actually like. Um, but one of the real presents, one of the real gifts of, you know, YouTube and you and everybody who sent me, like these are all things that are so thoughtful and so nice and that are kind of like redeeming that process for me in a way that um, that is a gift in and of itself. Like I, I enjoy this and um, I really appreciate it very much. And thank you to everybody who, who pitched in. This is a candle. Ooh. From, this is from Janelle. So you know Janelle, my, my photographer friend here in town. She gave me a little candle. It's a bit oh. nice. Mmm, it smells very cinnamony. That sounds, smells great. Thanks to everybody who sent me some stuff. This is really great. I had a nice little pre-Christmas Christmas. I've got a few more things to open, like I said, back at the Chateau, which I will save for another video, so we might, might as well have multiple Christmassy videos, right? This is really great. Um, I'm gonna make sure to give one of these uh, to Pushan to burn his face off, and I'll be sure to share one of these uh, in the Peloton as well, probably, and then, I mean, I'll share all of it. I, I, I might eat, I might, oh my gosh, these are so hot, I cannot wait. They're not lying. Normally these things are like marketing gimmicks as far as the hotness goes. These chips are genuinely like painfully hot. It's really exciting. Thanks everybody. I have to go do, and I have to do the dishes from lunch. I made Paul and Christian lunch that you saw, which they liked. <laughs> so you know, not a bad cook. Um, so I'm gonna go wash some dishes, and then let's, uh, I'll, I'll show you the, the new bike, because I got a brand new bike. And I'll tell you a little bit of that story as well, assuming we have some time. If not, I can tell you another time. Speaking of, like, I meant to say while I was talking about cooking, that this is also a gift, like the fact that I have access to this apartment, thanks to the bosses, for making this possible, because if it wasn't for you, um, I wouldn't be able to come down here, use the kitchen, and cook for my friends, which is a real pleasure, it's a real delight, because cooking hasn't been a part of my life for a really long time, and the ability to come do that and share that with people that I love in the midst of the most isolating year of our lives um, is a huge gift, so thank you so very much. It's massive. 
And thus, the Vosses, I think, also get to be the patron producers of this episode. Everybody uh, pitched in and got their names in there, but thanks for giving us a space to do it, Vosses. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you're doing well out there. And uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta finish the dishes. I just thought about that. And then we'll, I'll show you, I have a bike. I have a bike, finally. Oh, it's way too dark for it to focus. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, look, I got a bike back. It appears to be charged. Oh, it's got an error. That's great. Come home to find it already has an error. Wonderful. Okay, well, aside from uh, it having an error message, which I guess we'll investigate shortly, uh, I have my bike back, which is great. Uh, it's definitely a little bit of a cluster, obviously. They gave me a, quite the runaround. Just sent my bike back to the Netherlands. Never told me what was wrong with it, why they did it, when I could expect it back. Now it's struggling to charge. You can probably unplug it and uh, hope that, that does the trick. Cool. Well, maybe it isn't working. I guess I'll uh, play with this and find out. Uh, it took them five weeks. They didn't tell me anything until it was already back. It took me a lot of work to hunt it down and got no good information or reliable information over that period of time. And uh, generally unenthused with the way that I was treated. But the bike itself, theoretically, if this one works, is going to be great and I can't wait. Um, just not feeling great about that whole error message situation. Um, okay. Ow! Ow. Uh, I'm sure some of you saw that coming. Ow! Uh, I didn't. I was too busy focusing on how my bike appears to already be broken, even though it's theoretically brand new. That hurt. Ow. Well, try plugging it back in, even though I reset it. Cool, that doesn't do anything either. Great. Well, you know, make a nice, you know, coat rack, at least. Oh, I saw a little flash of something. No, nope, still nothing. Whew, anyways. Last thing you might have noticed, there's a lot more space down here for those of you that paid any attention to any previous videos. Um, my ex-girlfriend left a bunch of stuff down here when she moved to Morocco, like, a dresser, a bed, a whole bunch of stuff that she finally just came and got like a week ago. Something like that. So that was another thing that was kind of stressing me out and another reason why I wasn't really filming a whole lot. Just trying to give myself some space. And um, yeah, it's, it went about as well as it could go. I feel good. I'm glad that it's done. It was just, I think the anticipation was worse than the event itself. Um, so yeah, a lot more space back. Got to tidy this area back up because we had to uh, dig a thing out to help move some stuff. But. I'll give you an update on the bike tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm done. I'm done for today. Also, speaking of no good deed going unpunished. Look at that! What? I'm gonna have a lump. See you tomorrow. <laughs>